Hi there, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will extend my conversation about while loop, which I showed you how you can create it in the last video. Here, we will create the while loop again, but this time we will specify some conditions. So, what I have a variable over here, which is n equals to 20. I want to go backward and see how many even values and odd values which are present between 1 and 20. Alright. So, if I go and execute this and I will say while n is not equals to 0. Sorry, not equals to 0. Put a colon and then come down. Now, I will specify the condition if n percentage 2, that means the remainder if I divide n by 20, if it is remainder equals to equals to 0, that means it is an even number, then print, then print, it is an even number, right? Or what you can do is, you can say n, comma, it is an even number. After that, We'll say else print n comma it I'll just close that it is an odd number and after that simply say n is equals to n minus one right so if I go and execute that it will keep on printing twenty is an even number nineteen is an odd number 18 is an even number. So, whenever it is finding that condition true, it is writing or processing that operation which I have specified. So, now you can see how you can extend the power of looping and conditional statement by combining them uh, for your business logic or operation which you want to specify and get the desired output or automate the desired output. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about uh, the combination of. Uh, uh, condition statement and while loop by adding conditions to while loop and I hope you have found it useful.